So I saw a question on the uh, the old uh, bike mechanics uh, section of the bike forums about a Sora front derailleur that was having some slipping issues there. And uh, so this is the Sora the R3000, but it's essentially the same as the Clarisse R2000 front derailleur. Um, this is actually a issue I've seen quite a few times with um, even bike mechanics sometimes struggle with trying to figure this particular derailleur out. Um, it's pretty recent, you know, kind of came out at the same time that newer 11 speed systems came out. And uh, so, anyway, this is just, I'm kind of going over the uh, Shimano's tech, uh, tech documents dealer manual. So, um, anyway, there's a couple different ways. You can either have a band clamp or a brazon style. This is the brazon style, which if that's the type you have you want to make sure one one issue I've seen a lot is the not putting the little uh, the backer plate and then the little stabilization screw setting that in place because uh, uh, these are pretty powerful derailers so if you don't have that on there it definitely will affect shift performance it looks like the uh, the original poster there that had the picture he's got a clamp style so that's pretty well irrelevant but um, Anyway, so just bikes in general, you're going to see that where the cable comes up under the bottom bracket and hooks to the front derailleur, there's no real industry standard as far as where that cable's going to come out. A lot of frames are like the one on the uh, the right side there where they come through the frame, if it's a carbon frame or whatever. So from there, there's a little piece, a little what they call a converter that you're going to have to uh, set up. So first off, you just start off with your... Uh, get your derailleur hooked up one to three millimeters above that big ring and then take your low limit screw and you can set it uh, set that derailleur where the outer cage is hovering just over the the big ring initially to kind of get it set up here so um, anyway you'll just back out your um, your little fixing bolt there that clamps the cable down you'll back that up get a little gap between that plate and such so if you have this little what they call the judgment tool you can use that um, you know otherwise it's not super crucial you can experiment with that little converter either which way and it doesn't make it honestly make a huge difference either which way but kind of what I found is uh, that line there that's gonna kind of be a representation of where the cable is and kind of you just set it up depending on which side of the cable if you just kind of hold it up which side it rests you know either to the left or the right of that line but you can kind of go by this that little rivet right there uh, this kind of down below um, now I found if the cable is pretty far to the to the left of it then you're gonna want to have it set up with the uh, the uh, converter on the off side or if it's pretty close to that little the little pivot um, section there right that little point right there if it's close to it then you'll want to have it in the in the Y position or the on the on side there so um, yeah, it's pretty easy to move that pin basically it's kind of just an oblong circle and that pin depending on how you have it set up in the Y or Z position it moves it over one side or the other so it's either the on or off position so you know again it's not you can experiment with that. It's not a huge deal. That's not the mistake I think the original poster there was making. Um, it was more of a routing issue, but we'll get to that in a minute. But to uh, switch that either either way, you just um, loosen your screw, move the little the little plate there that goes over it, and then you push it with a two millimeter Allen wrench. Then you can twist it 180, 180 degrees, and it'll move it either which way. So. Um, you know, it's, as far as the, I'm not going to get too much into the adjustment. I've got two other videos that uh, the, the description is going to be relatively the same. So I'll put some links to that at the very end. But anyway, the cable's going to, when you get that set up where you want it, you want the cable's going to go up and over the pin, you know, so it routes through the plate and then down. The crucial error was that right there along the, uh, um, it basically it kind of form a U and is it where it's coming down that's um, you know it goes basically over the pin right there and then as the cable comes up down and around 
it's going to cinch down between that plate. That's really where that bolt's going to hold it on there on the, on the uh, you know, in this illustration. It, you would want it to go on that uh, right-hand side. And that's really where it's going to, the uh, bolt's going to pinch down. If you're, you know, in this illustration, that plate's not strong enough to hold that cable. So it has to be cinched under the bolt right here. You know, another little tip is to put a little grease on the threads of that bolt. That helps quite a bit as well. Um, you know, once you get it set up there, you want to definitely make sure you stress the cable. Um, then you, your high-low limit screws are essentially the same, really, as any any other derailleur. When you have it in the in the uh, big ring, in the front the small cog, you want just a little bit of clearance there. This one shows zero to five. 0.5 millimeters. I don't. I don't think you would want zero because then it would be rubbing. So you want a little gap in between there, and then the same with the small cog, big ring. You want a little bit on the inside plate. Uh, kind of in this illustration, they're showing it in the big, big ring, big cog in the back. You shift it down that one micro click in the in the trim, and then you're going to want just a slight. Uh, gap between you had to adjust your cable tension either with a something there along on the frame barrel adjuster or an inline cable adjuster to fine-tune exactly your your uh, cable tension adjustment there so um, yeah uh, anyway hopefully you uh, hopefully the video was helpful so yeah just long long uh, long answer short that the uh, cable needs to go down in a U fashion and be clamped really down there the low just just next to the uh, bolt there is really what's going to clamp that thing in so uh, yeah anyway hopefully you found the video helpful and thanks for watching